Hey everyone, this is Tintinani and today I'll be showing you guys how to make this super cute little pop tab bracelet. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. The materials that you will be needing are going to be some pop tabs, some string, I will be using ribbon today, but you guys can feel free to use any kind of string you want. Some scissors. Some tape. And last but not least, some crazy glue. Take your desired string and wrap it around your wrist at least four to five times. I wrap, I wrap mine around six times. Be sure to make it longer than usual. Take your string and fold it in half. There should be a loop at the end. And make sure that the two ends are equal. Grab a loop at the end. To know the size of the loop, it should be around three or two fingers wide. So I can fit my three fingers in there, so this should be enough. So I'm taking this much of the loop, and you're going to take your tape. Now, take the loop and glue it to the table, as shown here. Now you should have a loop with the tape down and the end of your string. Take your pop tab. Make sure that there are no straight edges whatsoever. You don't want any sharp edges on your pop tab. Now, take the two ends of your string and take your pop tab. This oval shape should be facing downwards. <coughs> take both of the strings and thread it up through the pop tab holes. So you're going to take your pop tab and you're going to take the bottom and the oval should be at the bottom and you're threading both of your th strings up through the pop tab as shown. Now pull it all the way to the end till it reaches the loop that you made. It should look something like this. Make sure that the pop tab is facing downwards, so the oval part is facing downwards. Now, take another pop tab and make sure the oval is facing downwards. You're going to flip it around like this. So now the oval part should be facing upwards. You're going to take the top pop tab and you're going to take this pop tab and you're going to put it under the top pop tab. So you're taking it, flipping it around, and you're putting it under. Now. Make sure that the two holes are matching up. So you want the two holes to overlap. Take your string and you're coming up from the bottom. So you're taking your string, you're pulling to the left, and you are coming up through both of the overlapped holes. So you're coming up through both of the overlapped holes, as so. And you should have something like this. And do the same thing with the bottom. Make sure to overlap the holes again. Take the bottom string, pull to the left, take it to the back, and come out in front. And go through both of the overlapped holes and pull. You should have something that looks like this. <coughs> now take both of the string and pull right really, really tightly. Now, take another pop tab and make sure that the oval part is facing downwards. Now, put this pop tab in front or on top of the back pop tab. So you're taking this and the oval has to be facing downwards <coughs> and you're overlapping it again. So make sure that this pop tab and this pop tab, um, the holes are matching. <coughs> so once the holes are overlapping, with the both pop tabs, you're taking your string and you are going to thread it 
through both of the two overlapped holes. So now you have two choices. One choice is to do <coughs> the X, the X one, <coughs> and the horizontal one. I'm going to show you both. To do the horizontal thread, take your top string and overlap the two holes of the this one and the back one and you are just going to go horizontally so the top string with the top pop tab and once you thread that through it should look like this so you have this horizontal line and you're going to do the same thing with the bottom so taking the bottom string and you're threading it through the bottom pop tab so Thread it through the bottom pop tab. <laughs> and you should have something like this. So this is the basic horizontal one. <clears throat> so if you want this, then you can continue the pattern and keep on doing horizontal ones. If you want the X design, then take the top string and thread it through the bottom holes. So you're overlapping again the both of the pop tabs and you're threading the top string through the bottom hole so that it forms a diagonal line. So as you see here, I have a diagonal line. <clears throat> and now, you're taking the bottom string and you're threading it through the top overlapped holes. So the top two overlapped holes are up there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to thread it through there. Once you do that, you should have something like this. Now, take another pop tab and make sure that the oval is facing downwards. <clears throat> now flip it up so that the top so that the oval shape is facing upwards and now this will be the back so take this to the back and make sure that this pop tab and this pop tab the holes are overlapping <laughs> and now you're taking the string and you're going from the back to the top so you're taking the top string and you're threading it through the top hole and you're taking the top the bottom string and you're threading it through the bottom hole so you have to thread through both of the pop tabs. <clears throat> so I've got that. And you're going to do the same thing with the bottom. Once you've done so, it should look like this. So at the back, you should notice the horizontal design forming. So that's why I picked to do the X design because you get both designs. You get the X one and you get the horizontal one. Now take another pop tab. And make sure the bottom, uh, the oval is facing the bottom. And again, you're going to put this on top of the back one. So basically, it's like a pattern. You're taking the top string and you're threading it through the two overlapped pop tabs um, holes. And it's going to form a diagonal line. And you're going to do the same with the bottom string. So you're taking the bottom string and you're threading it through both of the... <laughs> overlapped um, pop tabs so it should look something like this and now it's pretty easy because you just do the same thing for the, so the next step would be taking a pop tab flipping it over and putting it at the back of the other pop tab so you're putting it at the back and you're making sure that the two holes overlap and now you're taking the top string and you're threading it through both of the pop tab um, holes and you're threading the top string through the top holes and you're pulling and you're gonna do the same thing with the bottom. So now you should have something like this and at the back it should look like this. <coughs> Keep on doing that until you reach almost close to the end and it should be, um, <coughs> you should leave a, a lot of space um, for the string. So just do it, um, I would say three quarters of your string. So do it and then stop until you reach three quarters of your string. Now you're going to take your pop tab bracelet and the loop that you made, you're going to cut it in half equally. So now you should have 
something like this and this is going to be the end and this is going to be the front. So once you're happy with your bracelet, it's now time to close it. So there's going to be two parts, okay? This part over here with the tape is going to be the end part and please don't tape your rib uh, your string together. I'm only doing this so you guys can understand how it works better. So the part with the tape is going to be called the end part, okay? So this is going to be the end. And this is going to be the start. Without the tape, it's the start, okay? So you're going to decide on um, which side you're going to wear. So I'm going to wear this X sign, which means, by the way, I mean like um, which part you're going to show to the people. So if you want to show this part, then... When you once you curl it into a bracelet, this part has to be on the inside. So if you want to show this one, then you have to curl it like this. So I'm gonna wear this one, so I'm going to curl it on the inside like this. So now you're gonna take your end and you are going to take um, whichever end you want. So I'm gonna take the bottom string of my end and you're going to take the last pop tab of the start over here and you're going to pull the string up because you do not want the string. So now you're taking the end string and you're going to do it oppositely, okay? So this is the bottom string. The bottom string has to go to the top hole, okay? So if I were to take my top string, then the top string will go through the bottom hole, okay? So taking the bottom string and going through the top hole and the reason that we're doing this is because we want the X design so if you wanted to if you're doing this side then you would just um, take the top string and put it <coughs> through the top hole but since we're doing the X design we're taking the bottom string and we're putting it through the top hole so we're going to do that right now and just going to pull till the don't pull too tight though now it's going to look a bit complicated and you're going to take your other string so this is going to be uh, my top string and I'm going to thread it through the bottom hole so it's like uh, opposite so it will form a <coughs> it will form a diagonal line which will make the X so once that's in you're going to pull the um, the end strings both together and you're gonna pull it <coughs> to the side to one side like I'm pulling it down so that it forms the X shape right there okay so now you should have four uh, two pairs of strings so you should have the this part the taped ones and the just the normal ones okay so this is where it gets a bit tricky